Welcome. So in this video, we're going to go through how to get your Figma email designs effectively into your Clavio email builder and some of the considerations that you need to look at to ensure that your emails load quickly and aren't flagged as spam. So the premise behind it is we're going to use the slice tool, which you can also press S to use, which allows you to actually slice certain sections of your email and then as a result, export it at a certain size. And so you could theoretically slice or export your whole email entirely. But I think as you might know that having such a large image that you're exporting and putting into Clavio could mean that either the file is too large or secondly, that when the customer opens up the email, it's not gonna load quick enough because their system has to download such a large image. So what we're gonna to do to start off is I'm just going to slice both the header and the footer, and then I'm gonna show you why in a second. So I've opened the slice tool and I've aligned it here to match the dimensions of what I know this is. And if you're not completely sure if it's aligned, you can just move it around until you get that orange lining. And then I'm gonna press export. And now, you can export at different multiples, depending on the size you're looking for for your export. However, because I've designed these emails such that the width is 1000, which is a little more than you will see other people doing, I'm completely happy at exporting at this at a one times multiple. So I'm gonna export this slice. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here and I've got my footer design here. I'm gonna click S and I'm going to Highlight over this to make sure we get the right dimensions. And then again, I'm gonna click export and export this part. And you can see that this is actually a template here because um, I've got just your input text, but you'll see what I'm doing in a sec. Because we've exported this as a PNG, I'm gonna use a site called Tiny PNG. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload two images I just downloaded, and I'm gonna paste them into this tool. And what it does is it rewrites the writing for the images so that it can actually compress the images and actually decrease the total size of the images whilst remaining the resolution entirely. And so what you can see here is with this image, we've dropped 60% size and this one 59%. And so this will actually allow these components to load so much quicker on customers' computers. And so I'll just download these. And then within my download folder, I'll just set up a little folder here and I'm just going to call it welcome email one as this is what we're working on and then I'll just paste these components or just move them around into that and then I'll open up Clavio and because what we're doing is implementing a design that we've already got I'm just going to use a blank email and so what I'll do is I'll open this up and I'm just going to delete these little bits and pieces that we really do not need right now and what I'm going to do, and this is just temporary, is I'm going to add this image in there. I'll add, upload the image. I'll put in, open up, welcome email one. Zoom in so I can see the actual components. I'll put in this. And I'll do the same thing for the footer. Putting an image file there, selecting the image. And remember, this is just temporary. We're not keeping these images, these specific images in here. And the reason being is both the footer specifically, and in this case, the header, need to be designed within Clavio. We can't put images. Because for example, this image has the logo and three separate links, and a single image only allows you to input one link. And so what we're gonna need to do is design this within Clavio. And additionally, this includes obviously the links with the social media here and these links with the text there, but also, Email systems need to be able to detect the information provided in the system along with Clavio for its confirmation process, such that having an image here, obviously you are not gonna be able to detect these components. So what I'm gonna do is actually just design just these two components out within Clavio and then the rest we can input as images. And to do this, I'm going to create a few separate parts. So to make this easier, I'm just going to add another section below and this is gonna be for our footer. And at the top, I'm going to do a little similar, but I'm just going to add, and I know it's gonna wig out a little bit, two columns, and one will be 33%, and the other will be 67, like that. And so what we've gotta do is, the reason I put these images in here is so we can look at them directly and try and replicate them as best we can. 
So for this top component, obviously we've got a logo, so an image, so I'll put an image in there. And then obviously on the right, we've got three links and there's a little option for that, which is header bar. I'm gonna add that in. We're actually gonna change the option to links and buttons only, because we've already got the logo over here. Then before I play around with these, I'm just going to add in an image and that will be, in this case, this image here. So I'll select this one and put that in. And then over on the right here, we're obviously going to have three separate links. And so then I can add three links. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to put in the information for these within here where I can put in the text. And then I'm going to add the link that actually links to that specific one. So I'm gonna do that now. And now that I've got those links in there, I'm just going to quickly change the text color to completely black. And then I'm gonna play around with what this header bar is made up of. And this will include changing the font. And this is where it can get a little tricky because you may choose to use specific fonts within Figma. And so what you've got to do is you've got to try and replicate that as close as possible within Clavio if you're using this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up a specific font that is as close as I can to the template used. I'm going to change the size in this scenario to that. Now for both the image and the actual components here, I'm going to play around with the padding around the text and the blocks themselves such that I can try and align as much as I can with the graphic we've got above. Right, so now I've got it pretty close and you see it somewhat resembles it. But one of the things you do definitely have to consider when actually designing in Clavio is the mobile view. And one of the things that can get tricky is that fonts are very, like font sizes and different components are very different in the spacing compared to desktop and mobile. And as a result, one of the options you can actually do to get it closer is I'm actually going to set this section as only available on desktop, such that if I were to go to mobile, it would disappear. And then this way, I can do the same designing process on mobile without actually affecting the desktop one. Okay, cool. So now that that's done, we have, we can, well, we can delete the original image because we've got it as close as possible to the image. And so now we have two separate sections, one for mobile and one for desktop. And then what we can do on both the mobile and desktop one is I can actually look at it, click the section that aligns with this specific header and click save content. And then I can save it as say, header desktop, for example. And then I can do the same for the mobile one, obviously. And then what this will allow us to do is every time we start a new email, instead of having to design it each time, we can very simply just move up our header into the thing, whether it's for mobile or for desktop. And then this speeds up the process significantly. And now that I've done this for the header, I'm going to do a similar process and actually do this for the footer. And to do this, I'm going to use both a text component for the main footer text here, as well as a social links section for these. All right, so now I have both a header and footer templates. And it is worth mentioning that obviously the header has different templates for mobile and desktop, but I managed to find a structure for the footer that can be used for both desktop and mobile which doesn't look too bad and is pretty similar to the design here, other than the fact that in the desktop, it's slightly more stretched out than this. And in the mobile, I'd say it's a little more condensed, but it's not too bad and it's all right. And part of what you have to do in Clavio with these individual components is you actually have to use what's known as personalization, where we've got obviously individual components. And so in here I've included the receiver email address, sender email address, obviously these are all linked, and then organization name and full address there. All right, so now I'm going to return back to Figma and we're going to export the remainder of this email design. So I'm going to get our slice tool and I'm going to slice over this section here and that mostly looks right other than the height. So I'm just going to 
move around with this make sure that's all good okay that looks better and then I can click export export that slice and basically you want to determine your slices based on the section so this is one clear section here and we can say the same about this section and maybe this whole section here and so on so then we can just repeat this process Okay, cool. So now that I've exported all those, I can go to add more images here and I can click on all of these and enter. And just to make sure I'm let all these optimize, we'll move everything into the right folder. So that into there, this one into there, this one into there, and this one into there. And then what we can do is we can go back to our Clavio and then this is a little bit that's I would say reasonably more easy so I'm just going to add in our image we'll select image we'll go upload image we'll go to this folder and we know our next image based on our design here is we've got this above the fold section so I'll click that and put that in and then that'll simply pop up like that and now one of the really important things we must do due to the fact that we have images is we need to include an alt text which is great for screen readers when emails don't pop up and so what we can do here is I might just write you want to basically talk about either what's the actual text on the page or just talk about what this image shows and so I'm going to say header image because that's what the background image is I'm going to say and then I'm just going to put all the text in so I'm going to say welcome to the club and I'll say your discount code is dot 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 and then put in a discount code there and then I'm just going to write access the code basically the simplest way to include alt text is just to put the text that's already on the image and then what we're going to do is because obviously we've got a button here and obviously this whole image is a singular component but what we can actually do is we can simply add a link for the whole image. So even if the customer clicked anywhere on the image, or even if they did click on the button, no matter what, they're going to get sent to the link you want them to. And so I'm just going to add a link to this. And now we can continue this process, adding in more images and selecting the following components of the email and putting them all in. Now this specific component here, obviously we've got plain text and looking at one of my favorite other brands who do I would say pretty good email marketing is you can actually see with their emails is they've got sections like this where they've got this is not an image it's actually proper text here but then other components where obviously if I was to try and highlight this that's an image there is no text I can highlight there same with down here so it's completely up to you it will allow email systems and customers to actually register this as text rather than an image. So in components like this, it's your own choice whether you want to add text there or not. If not, then what we're going to do is I'm going to quite simply click over here, copy the text, place it in the alt text. And for scenarios like this, because we don't really want this to be clickable, I'm not going to add a link to this one, but you could. And so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna continue adding all the images for this email. Right, so now we can see this has come out quite nicely. We've got all the different components here. It's the same on mobile because we've designed it in Figma to align with both. But there is one little thing to consider. So before I get into that, we can see this one. I've got some alt text. I just included the main titles for this. And I've got a link again, which link is that for that button there. But then here, these are designed to be clickable images. And preferably, it'd be nice if the text could be clickable as well and so what we're going to need to do for this component is I'm going to do two things so one is I might crop this image here and I'm going to move this up to about about there I reckon and then I can click out of this and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm fine with this being an image here I'm going to 
copy that text, I'll say some exploring, question mark, paste all that text in there. Don't need a link to this, but then what I'll do is I'm going to create two columns below this, two equal columns, that's completely fine. Okay, and so to get it to the design we've got here in Figma, I'm going to, so I've created, I've got the two equal columns, and then I'm gonna create a little pattern here where I've got image on both sides, and then under it I've got text, and I'll do the same for this. And then I think you can see what I'm doing here is, and then we can put in an image again, get on this side, followed by text underneath, and then obviously we can fill in all the individual components for it, and then actually attach links to both the image and the text in all of these scenarios, so that the customers can actually click on these, and we can actually follow this consistent design. All right, all complete. So now we have all the individual components, the two, headers for desktop and mobile which are universal we can just implement automatically now same we have the footer which we can just use and put in right away for all of our new emails we have the first ones with links attached to them and these are full images and then this one where this component oh, this component is an image but these components down here are all with links here attached to both the images and the text but the text does look a little big so what I might do for all the text components is I'll say you know what this will be desktop only because they're too big and then I can just go okay cool easy we'll just add some more text for all the mobile ones and I will have to make sure that these also only show on mobile because it'd be a bit silly for two lines of text to show up on desktop so we can quickly do that and now we are completely done with our email design and we can continue to design different emails in Figma and then simply just slice the different components, use TinyPNG to compress them, put them into our emails, add some alt text and it's as simple as that. But this is the best way to actually implement your Figma designs into Clavio considering loading times for customers, avoiding being flagged for spam and for just offering the best detail with all the links that you need.